I call it almost Nike-like in terms of its promotion characteristics. What do I mean by that? What I mean is we've taken something that is very important to Harris, digital television, but we're telling the world about it and not just ourselves and not just a few customers. Watch your step here. My name is Brooks Robinson, and I'm going to be your MC for this special evening. Thank you. Can you believe this? I'm being upstaged again by the bird. This gentleman is a leader of the $3.8 billion communications company that has produced this historic event. Uh, when I talk with my wife tonight, I'm going to have to remember to tell her that. Uh, the first thing they did was give me the bird. <laughs> but really, I, I do want to do my primary job, which is to welcome you all to a very historic game. This is the first live, high-definition TV broadcast of a major sporting event. For many of you, the image on the screen that you're seeing is your first look at high-definition TV. I don't have to tell you that there's a difference, and there's a big difference. Harris Corporation is pro producing this event tonight to demonstrate the power of digital television and really to showcase high-definition TV. The great philosopher Yogi Berra once advised young players that if you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> the broadcast industry is taking the digital fork in the television road. To lead us there, we turn once again to the wisdom of Yogi Berra, who explained to a group of people, you can observe a lot by watching. <laughs> so, let's watch. If Brooks will join me now, we'll take you live to the stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, the three distinguished gentlemen uh, that you now see that uh, comprise the Harris Broadcast Team. On the left is our play-by-play -play announcer, uh, the one and only, Baltimore's best, Tom Davis. And next to him, uh, the greatest pitcher in Oriole history and Hall of Famer, my good friend, James Alvin Palmer, uh, who just threw the world's first high-definition baseball. Nice going, Jim. That's the first time you threw it that low in your whole career, I'll tell you that. And on the right is uh, Judd French from the Harris Corporation. Judd is our digital television commentator. That's also a first, I believe. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the mic is yours. Take over. Well, thank you very much, Hall of Famer Brooks Robinson from down at the National Press Club. And we wanted to just get a little bit of information from Judd French because 10 years ago, this wasn't even thought to be possible. 10 years from now, what's it going to be like, Judd? Well, in about 10 years, there could be as many as 2,600,000 households in the Washington area watching this game on a variety of high definition and uh, set top converted televisions as it is tonight. The 300 of you uh, down in Washington are the only ones to participate in this historic event. Six high-definition cameras are mounted next to the older analog cameras at uh, Camden Yards, and the pictures are sent to a specially con uh, constructed production truck, the only one of its kind in the U.S. over fiber optic cables. The signal is getting to you in Washington two different ways. Uh, it's going through a fiber optic link and a digital satellite. So the uh, fiber optic system converts the signal 
into a uh, signal that works with our standard telephone network where it goes down to WHD-TV, located at uh, WRC. And at this site, it's decoded to insert the station identification or, if needed, commercials. And then it's uh, put back into the ATSC standard signal and broadcast on channel 27 using a Harris 5000-watt digital transmitter. Uh, for the satellite system, it's somewhat similar. It's converted directly into ATSC from the truck and transmitted to a new Telstar 5 satellite using, surprisingly, a Harris satellite uplink truck, which was generously uh, loaned to us by All Britain Communications and their Washington station, WJLA-TV. And then at uh, the PBS HDTV station, that's WETA HD in Arlington, Virginia, a satellite receiver feeds the signal uh, directly to a Harris digital UHF transmitter operating on channel 34. We're talking about uh, uh, the next level, and the next level is uh, actually feeling like you're there, and I think uh, high-definition television from what I've seen and uh, what we're about to see tonight, I think, is, is what we're all going to be uh, waiting for, and hopefully it will come sooner than later. If, if people react uh, to what I just saw the same way that I did, their first reaction has got to be is, gee, how can I get one of those? And when people see this tonight uh, on this tremendous screen and the tremendous clarity of the picture and see their favorite sport, perhaps, uh, I think they're going to be captured by it. This is a quantum leap. Uh, above the technology that uh, you know we've all been used to these last uh, several years. It gives a whole new dimension, a sense of really being at the park. I think I've seen the future of sports, in fact the future of any entertainment that has action on it. I've been to Camden Yards in Baltimore three times in the last week and when I walked into the ballroom and saw the, the huge screen there, that's as close an experience as you can have to being in Camden Yards. Uh, baseball needs a an overall uh, perspective like this television gives them. Uh, in particular, one of the problems I've always had watching uh, baseball on TV is I couldn't follow the pitch. They would say it was a slider or a sinker or a curveball, and I, I really couldn't see the difference. Whereas HDTV, you really can see the pitch. Especially the wide shot, which is the way you look at a ball game most of the time, uh, that, that gave me a much better perspective. Picking up the ball, uh, I didn't think they'd be able to do that with a wide shot, but they did. What you see in there is very lifelike, and I think that's the, that's the total experience that you're looking for. First of all, it's a very exciting to work with Harris on broadcasting the first major sporting event. Um, it's a great honor to baseball to be associated with Harris in doing so because it's a great opportunity for us to show what this will do for our sport. I'm uh, co-chair of the President's Advisory Committee on the public interest obligations of digital television broadcasters. So uh, I actually uh, view this not just as a fan, but uh, this is my first uh, look really at what digital television can do. It's incredible seeing all the expressions on people's faces, clear for once. This experience is the first time we can really get, at least I can get some sense of how a consumer might react to this and whether a consumer is going to say, I got to get me one of those. Even though my eyesight's bad, but it still works for me with the HD TV. The traffic to get to the press club was a lot better than going to Camden Yards. <laughs> this is better. This is better than being at Camden Yards, uh, not only because the view was better, the sound was better, but also the food was better. But I swear, I mean, the pictures were just unbelievable, and it's just like being in a surround movie house, and the sounds, and the picture, and the, uh, we had some pictures tonight that I've never seen before as far as baseball is concerned, so I thought that was uh, the important part of it. Harris Corporation has done an outstanding job putting this forward so that people have an opportunity to see what it's going to be like when this is available to people. This is spectacular. Um, Harris has gotten a lot of really wonderful press about this event, but we still didn't know how many people were actually going to come out and what the response was going to be. As you can probably guess, we were scared to death about putting this thing on because it is a first. It's never been done before, and sometimes when you try to do things for the first time, they just don't work. This one not only worked, but everybody is coming up to us saying, what a fabulous event. Uh, the Orioles blew away the Indians. Uh, the Harris Corporation put on a wonderful show with the digital TV, and uh, everyone went away happy. Tonight, we used the old marketing adage. When you're selling a new product, you sell the sizzle and not the steak. And we sold high definition, and it was extremely well received. So we not only pulled it off, we did even better than we had hoped. 
We had great comments from congressmen, from broadcasters. Uh, it's been a total success. We couldn't have asked for anything more. And once again, Harris has played a key role in promoting digital television and high definition in the United States. So we've got a real Harris first as well as a digital television first. Brady with a drive to deep right center field. It's got a chance to go. Gone. Brady Anderson, two-run homer, number 18. Yep.